Um, hi folks, um, this video is for uh, log file rotation uh, issue um, under the uh, virtual min. Um, so we deployed the new OS, uh, sent OS 7 and um, configured the virtual min and web min, I mean web min and virtual min, um, and um, under the Apache server. Uh, we ha we didn't have any problem with Apache, but the thing is, um, we all of our websites are running under the Nginx. So um, the existing uh, virtual host we created on the under the virtual mean um, we deleted because uh, it was causing the problem. I have to delete the or disable the Apache and then uh, um, install the web um, the Nginx and uh, you know so on so forth anyway um, and uh, you have to delete the uh, virtual host uh, domains whatever you had created uh, at least I know that way maybe there is the other way but uh, um, this is the way I've been doing that uh, anyway um, and the uh, thing um, looks like that uh, it was logging logging some uh, log files or anything under the previous uh, virtual host installation and uh, uh, it was causing the uh, so after when we configured the nginx and created the, the first virtual host um, it uh, create uh, it was creating but uh, i was getting the warning message uh, um, the log file rotation uh, was failing and it was not starting but uh, it was still going through the installation so then I checked the validation on the um, virtual under the uh, webmin uh, settings um, and uh, check configuration uh, in here I was getting uh, um, log file rotation fail failures so then I start digging around and I found the um, um, articles, of course, in, from the webmin. Um, this guy recommended to go to etc and um, logrotate.config. Um, there was, I checked it out there, uh, there was nothing to configure. Uh, it was, everything was working properly. So the, uh, um, now um, I was kind of out of the, um, um, hope um, I was just really taking long time to figure it out what was this what was the causing this issue because I wanted to save the VPS as a, um, the base uh, VPS and um, um, I didn't want to save it without having some problem there but anyway I found another one this guy was saying um, uh, we gotta find the syslog uh, GD daemon or syslog uh, GD uh, depending on your OS so I tried to do that and uh, <coughs> on my I was also comparing the uh, uh, we have a 6.5 uh, CentOS uh, 6.5 and um, I was not able to find their uh, a syslog uh, that socket so uh, end up on on the new under the new uh, operating system uh, uh, CentOS 7 there was this uh, syslog that socket uh, file I mean this uh, service and uh, it was not starting so um, well this one did not solve my issue either so um, then I was just digging into the webmin and um, accidentally found that um, under the webmin uh, systems and uh, here is the log file rotation so that that was after when i saw this uh, um, even i had uh, all virtual servers deleted and that uh, this uh, uh, file was still existed in here then i uh, figured it out this one would cause the problem so i selected um, that uh, access log i even deleted this one from the etc uh, I mean the war uh, logs let me pause this one and show you war logs uh, uh, virtual mean and in here um, and I deleted I deleted the files uh, from here but uh, 
it really did not help because um, uh, this file I mean that this log was kind of stuck here from the previous uh, uh, installation so the the amazing thing was um, I could have create any any domain and uh, it was not it was going through but uh, for that particular domain I was getting the log file rotation was already created and uh, cannot be created and uh, you know, but I, it was still there. It was stuck there. So uh, then I went here, uh, systems, log file, rotation, selected that, and uh, deleted. Uh, delete selected log rotation. So that's what you do, and uh, that's it. It will release that, and uh, everything will be great um, it's everything is validating now and there's everything is working uh, properly as it should um, what going through so it's validated so this is the problem all right guys thank you